A Marine who gave his life at the Battle of Tarawa is brought home, and the Corps rolls out a new radar system. All this and more, this week on The Corps Report. The Marine Corps released a new MAR admin reducing online training requirements for Marines. Commanders will use small unit leadership-led discussions reducing online training by more than five hours. Small unit leaders will receive training support packages to standardize training. The new requirements take effect May 1st. F-35Bs are training in Korea for the first time in support of the Korea Marine Exercise Program. The United Nations Command, Combined Forces Command, and U.S. Forces Korea Commander, General Vincent K. Brooks, said the development of the most advanced aircraft the United States Marine Corps has in their inventory to Korea is yet another example of how dedicated the United States is to supporting the Republic of Korea. Private Harry K. Tai was laid to rest 73 years after being lost in action during the Battle of Tarawa. Private Tai's family, along with the Secretary of Defense James Mattis, Secretary of Homeland Security John F. Kelly, and other guests honored him at his funeral on March 28th at Arlington National Cemetery. History Flight, a nonprofit organization, discovered Tai's remains in a mass grave amongst 39 other service members. Today, more than 73,000 American service members remain unaccounted for from World War II. The Marine Corps has showcased the Ground Air Task Orientated Radar System, aka the Gator. It'll replace five legacy radar systems. The Gator will be able to provide fast, day or night, all-weather radar coverage and track aerial objects within a command's area of operation. It can detect and track manned and unmanned aircraft, determine enemy missile impact zones, and differentiate friendly from enemy artillery fire. It will get the job done at a lower operational and maintenance cost. That's all for this week on The Core Report.